in the earlier video we did the options and uh, in this video we're going to be looking about uh, setting up our days off and uh, our working hours so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going up to project like that under project information I'm going to be clicking on it here and here I have my start date I actually want to decide when the project starts but if I had an end date I could choose the end date over here and then work my way backwards but I'm going to be starting from the start and then moving towards the end so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that this project started in boom, boom, let's say it started in October the 6th like that and it's project start date it's the standard calendar okay then it moves back I have my start date here that's the dotted line the next thing I want to do is I want to go change working time once I change my working time all the days that are holidays will not be uh, our activities won't be placed on those days so I'm going to start by saying the first vacation that I'm going to be having there is if I go up some oh that was too much you see it really scrolls real quick I better use this I said October I'm going to go forward here and I'll be like okay from the 22nd of December until mm, January the 1st I have my Christmas break so I'm going to write Christmas break and uh, I better tell which year it is and again this was from uh, December the 22nd until January the 1st like that then uh, we have some other breaks we have a winter break in February so I'm going to be winter break and that's 2015 and then that break is from February the 9th until what is it the 13th like that then uh, we have a special uh, innovation week innovation week and uh, that one is on March the 9th until March the 13th like that and again right here I can press it or place my mark on it press F2 and then add 2015 it's if you have a project that's going to be spanning over a year or so do yourself a favor and uh, add the year that the vacation it is so that you know if you miss some and then the next uh, vacation we have it's going to be Easter break that's also 2015 oh, I pressed that by an accident because I didn't fill out this data down here it went berserk on me but that's from March the 3rd 30th until April the 6th and what do we have more we have some holidays we have great prayer day which is May the 1st and it runs to May the 1st okay again I forgot the date 
but F2 2015 and I chose the wrong month like that and what it's trying to tell me is that every time that some of the vacations they overlap it gives you a warning the next vacation we have is a uh, ascension day and ascension day is on May the 14th and it's just one day the next day we have is with Monday like that ah. and that is on May the 25th I believe yeah like that and the reason that I keep choosing this one finish even though it's only one day is because sometimes you're lucky and it actually will continue from that date instead of I have to scroll uh, we'll see if it works otherwise I have to do it the slave way then we have the Constitution Day the Constitution Day 2015 see it actually worked and that is June the 5th like that then I got a summer break and that will be running from July the 6th until July the 24th scroll down a little then the next vacation we're going to be having is going to be uh, what you call it uh, autumn break so let me see I need yeah autumn break And that is from um, the 12th of October like that until the 16th and then we have a Christmas break and that runs from December the 21 or 21st until what's it is boom, boom. the 1st of January of course like that then we have the winter break again 2016 and that one will be running from February the 15th until February the 19th and then we have an Easter break again and the Easter break is from March the 21st until March the 28th that and the last break or holiday I'm going to be adding is great prayer day and that is April the 22nd and that's it all those uh, except expectations uh, I did in here those are based on the standard standard calendar the standard calendar is the one that the office is going to be using 
So every time I look at one of these holidays, I can see, oh, okay, this is where it's at. If I look at the work weeks, I could do the same thing in here. I could do some or acceptations, but I won't be doing that. So uh, then I'm able to click down in the options here. I could do it anywhere. I could do it here or under this span too, but I'm going to do it in here, options. And actually, I go straight into my default start time, the one we got in through files and then options, and I can see my schedule here. But I already did these changes, so I won't put anything in here. So I'm going to press OK. OK. Control S. And I'm uh, actually ready now to uh, do my task and uh, add the duration.